In today's video, we're going to talk about conversion rates in GA4. First of all, we're going to see the already available metric that's accessible in your reports and how to surface that data across your account. And then I'm going to show you how to create a conversion rate report or to be more precise exploration for any particular conversion, given the fact that you have more than one conversion in your GA4 property. Let's go into the browser and see how it works. So here we are in the user acquisition report of the lifecycle collection in the standard GA4 reporting interface. We see a bunch of metrics here sliced by first user default channel group. And if we do a horizontal scroll, we're going to see all the conversions here. Now, if you are pushing your GA4 to the limits, you probably have more than just default conversion, which is purchase. You might have activated another set of events to be conversions because you want to measure the conversion rate and other conversion related metrics here in GA4. The way to surface conversion rates is by customizing the report and then adding conversion rate metrics, session conversion rate, and then user conversion rate to your standard reports. I'm going to pull revenue down there so you don't see the actual numbers. And right now your conversion rates should be here obviously session conversion rate is usually lower than user conversion rate because you know the percentage of users that end up converting is higher than percentage of sessions that end up converting because obviously one user can have more than one session so to go back to the problem of multiple conversions if we look at a particular conversion let's say success pages here we see that these numbers changed. And then if we change it to, I don't know, video progress, for example, numbers change in this column, but they don't change in other conversion rate columns because you have to, again, manually do this for each of these columns to understand how does each channel perform when it comes to a particular conversion. Now, if you wanna have all these numbers handy just by opening one report, or to be more precise, if you want to see the rate at which a particular conversion happens on any of your channels, well, that's easy to solve here in the exploration section. So we created one exploration and we are looking at session conversion rate as a metric. And obviously the dimension is session source. But if we want to see conversion rate for a particular conversion, you're going to have to filter this report by event name and then say, we only want to show events which match rejects. I'm going to paste it here. Basically, what this means is that we want to surface only the sessions that have session start or video progress or both, because that's how we're going to measure how does video progress convert against all the sessions. Let me show you another interesting report that I created. So I didn't slice via session source, but I actually used landing page as a session identifier. So these are the session conversion rate values, again, only for video progress for the sessions that started on any of these landing pages. And I can remember the last time that I used a visualization that's not a table. So let me show you in a scatter plot, how does this look? So in my opinion, it's very visually appealing and easier to identify that this blog post is converting like crazy when it comes to video progress because even though it didn't have that many users the conversion rate was pretty high again i used the other visualizations this is the somewhat unsuccessful and clumsy pie chart because it shows some crazy high values for the percentages here but also you can identify the best performing pages and the one that i like the most is this one, which is a geo report. Note that I set value here for total users. So I was super happy to see that all across the world, people convert when it comes to video progress. So wherever you're watching this video from, I want to thank you personally. 
and it makes me very proud to see that people are finding value in these videos all across the world. I hope that this video helped you understand conversion rates better in GA4. If you liked the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.